electrophile and nucleophile. Firstly, let me teach you one easy mnemonic. I write nucleophile and electrophile. Now this N in the nucleophile stands for negative charge. So I say nucleophile is a negative species like hydroxide ion. Now if nucleophile is a negative species, the electrophile being opposite is a positive species like hydrogen ion. Therefore, remember this N and the nucleophile and it will start the whole story. Now let me teach you the fundamental concept of nucleophile and electrophile. Consider hydroxide ion and water. We say that hydroxide ion has the ability to donate negative charge or this pair of electron. So it is known as a nucleophile. Secondly, we know that this molecule of water is a neutral molecule, but it can easily donate this lone pair of electron. Or we say that it has the ability to donate negative charge or this pair of electron. So this neutral molecule of H2O is also known as nucleophile. Therefore, we say that a reactant that provides a pair of electrons to form a covalent bond is called a nucleophile. On the other hand, consider hydrogen ion and boron hydride BF3. Here, we can see that there is one vacant orbit with the hydrogen ion. I mean, hydrogen ion can easily accept a pair of electrons. So, we say that hydrogen ion is an electrophile. Secondly, we can see that BF3 is a neutral molecule. There are six electrons present with the boron. Its octet rule is incomplete. Also, there is one vacant orbit with the BF3. I mean, BF3 can easily accept a pair of electrons to complete its octet rule. So, we say that BF3 is also an electrophile. Therefore, we define electrophile as a reactant that accepts a pair of electrons to form a new covalent bond is called an electrophile. So this is the whole concept of nucleophile and electrophile. Finally, let me teach you one real example. Consider hydrogen ion and NH3. We know that hydrogen ion has vacant orbit. So it is an electrophile because it can easily accept a pair of electrons. On the other hand, there is one lone pair of electrons present with the NH3. So it is a nucleophile because it can easily donate negative charge or a pair of electrons. Therefore, NH3 will donate one pair of electron to hydrogen ion to form ammonium ion. Now listen carefully. Hydrogen ion has accepted one pair of electrons and it has formed coordinate covalent bond. Thus, it is an electrophile, while NH3 has donated one pair of electrons and it has formed coordinate covalent bond, thus it is a nucleophile. Also remember that this arrow means coordinate covalent bond and the direction of arrow represents the flow of electrons from nucleophile to electrophile. Finally, note down this list of all important nucleophiles and electrophiles. I hope that you have learned all about nucleophile and electrophile.